Anyway, I'm all 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 I'm Red sauce being made because the season is approaching where tomatoes will be more scarce. And so the tomatoes are purchased in bulk to make this in bulk and it will be frozen and taken out as needed. But for you who never came to uh, Nigeria before, I want you to see the, the, the device that was made out of a tire rim to be converted into a cooker. And we don't really have this in the United States, but for those of you who can weld and know how to make things out of metal, this is a this is a very commonly used cooking, you know, uh, tool and uh, device here in Nigeria. And if you are a welder or you work with metals, molding metals and casting metals and things like that, you will be able to make something like this to be able to cook outside. Um, as a, when we cook in bulk, a lot of times, we use both the inside and we also use a, a large outside kitchen when we're cooking in bulk um, because it can really heat up the house and you might not have a lot of space when you're talking about having a party with over 100 people. We also hire caterers too, but sometimes we can cook ourselves. And so I know in the, when I'm in the U.S. and I had the festivals at my, my place, you know, there would be sometimes anywhere from 50 to 100 people and I cooked all the stuff in the house. But, you know, some of you all who have come to uh, the North Louisiana branch, y'all have seen us do a lot of work outside, too. And so I just wanted y'all to see this, uh, make a short video for those of y'all who have never been here. For those of you who have been here, y'all know the routine. So this is a big one right here, and it's very, very huge, um, bigger, than the, bigger than the last one um, for your larger pots, which we do have some larger pots. I don't see any out right now. But there are some some very very big boiling pots um, that will not fit on the smaller one that you all saw. Works the same way. You see your um, you know your valve right here where you uh, turn, and you see on the other side there is where you will put the hose for uh, the gas, the propane to come into the cooker. Again, this is a big tire round like for a truck, a big truck. Um, and again, if you can weld and you know how to make metals, you can make one of these. You can actually make one yourself, but you need to make sure that you're very careful about uh, installing the, the portion where, uh, the piece where that will, that will funnel the gas. Um, but I, these things, this device right here, this one right here actually can be bought as a, a unit. This one right here. It's removable. Mm -hmm. Say it again. It's removable. It's removable, uh-huh. That's how they got it in there. The screw on something. Uh -huh. She's showing you the screw on the side. Uh -huh. So they sell that uh, as an individual piece by itself. But you can make this if you are interested in outside cooking. Okay, don't use this. Uh -huh. <laughs> they got the whole set up, <laughs> the whole the rim, the rim factory just for these, just for the purpose of these. And you can create your own, you know, your own outside cooking cooking devices if you're interested in doing that. Stand by for more sharing to come. Odago.